Hello, dear all. This is Minakshi Narula. And once again, I'm here with all of you with another wonderful strategy. That is BDA drawings. BDA, what does it stand for? B, before. D, during. A, after. So what happens before a process, event, or phenomenon? During the process or event, and after that process gets over, what happens? So for that, that is another wonderful strategy, BDA drawings. When we talk about drawings, that suddenly comes to our mind about arts integration. We want our students to express their ideas, to bring their thinking to the fore, making thinking visible through drawings. So for that, guess it go for another wonderful strategy, BDA drawings. As you can see here on the screen, BDA drawings, they are the representations of students' mental models, right? What are the students designing in the mind, right? The, in that case, the drawings, they help them make their thinking visible. Making thinking visible with the help of drawings. And as the students, they gain ideas, they use scientific thinking as the instructions given to them by the teachers, the educators, the instructors. They even make changes to their drawings and they understand, they reflect, they see, they showcase how their ideas change with the passage of time as and when they get more knowledge, more instructions from their facilitators. So let's talk more about BDA. See, it promotes student learning. BDA drawings help students to explain the mental model through pictures, as I've already said, right? We give any topic to the students and we explain the process and we ask the students to describe the same through pictures. It's not one picture, they have to make three pictures. Draw three pictures, BDA before that event, the phenomenon, the process occurs, during that process, event or phenomena, and after the event gets over. So they have to explain through their drawings, right? So this helps them to design their conceptual model using their own thinking by asking students to draw three phases of a phenomenon that is B, D, A. Students, they think through the process, the change or the cause of effect by showing what is happening through the event or the phenomena. And after that, once they draw, I mean, they represent their thinking through the visuals, through the art, through the drawings. After that, the feedback process happens in the class. The teacher talks about the drawings, discussion happens, that can be feedback from the teacher, that can be peer feedback. The students, they can work in groups and can revise their drawings. And later on, they refine their drawings, right? Revise their drawings and present the new drawings, the refined drawings, showing their updated knowledge. So this is how it happens in BDA drawings. The same will be very much clear to you through the different kinds of examples that we will be sharing in this video. So BDA, how it is helpful for the teachers. See, as a teacher, if I have assigned any tasks to my students, I have given them a process. I have asked them to draw, I mean, present it through visuals, BDA, before, during, and after. And then I will be able to gather detailed information about my students' thinking. Like, what are they thinking about a particular process, right? And obviously, that will not be same for each and every student. That will be different for each and every student. After all, all the fingers, the sizes, the impressions are not alike. Each and every student is unique. They are having their own models to, you see, construct, to conceptualize whatever we are conveying to our students. See, usually what is happening in our classes, when as teachers, 
see we all teachers we are experts in our specific field right we have got knowledge about that particular area or about the particular topic even if we don't have we go we research before going to our class we explain the topic to our students and then we think like maybe whatever we are visualizing our students they are also visualizing in the same manner sorry it never happens for example i uh, teach my students about constellations right i may see in the sky and i may be able to identify the different patterns of the stars and i will be able to identify different kinds of constellations and if i have taught the topic to my students i cannot expect like my students they can also visualize the constellation in the similar manner no it may not be possible for them if i as a teacher think like if i can see an orion in the sky and my students can also visualize the same sorry that are creating blind spot as a teacher i may be thinking yes my students are also visualizing the same but it's not possible let us join our hands to bridge the gap to get to know like there are learning gaps because there are some teaching gaps as teachers sometimes we are not able to identify where is the gap we think the manner in which we are teaching whatever we are visualizing we think our students they are also visualizing the same thing but that never happens so give our students a chance to represent their drawings whatever they are visualizing through the drawings they will be submitting the same and based on that we as teachers we will be concluding we will be able to gather information to design individualized instructional models for our students i will just give you an example like first of all let's talk about how to design and administer this bda model we have to choose a question it can be formative assessment to elicit students initial ideas about concept that can be used to represent a change over time we have to provide an opportunity for students to first individually explain their drawings own drawings and consider they could use a drawing as a model to represent their thinking about what is happening during the event process or phenomena after that let them sit in pairs as we have already talked about think pair share strategy in our previous videos let them sit together let them discuss their drawings through the peer feedback let them revise their drawings and present the refined drawings in the class and that they will be presenting in a group to the whole class right just would like to give you one example like if you are talking about a puddle that is full of water you ask your students right you draw it bda bda right before right they have to explain what is happening before how did this puddle form before right what happened where did the water come from so they will be drawing all about it whatever they are thinking maybe somebody has uh, put water in it through a pump maybe it has uh, come from a rain so everybody is having a different thinking right so b before drawing and then during during the process during this process like for example puddle is there water is there now during sunlight is there and during that process what happens to the water the water evaporates right so what happens to that and the students they may explain like water gets evaporated and the puddle becomes totally it gets dried up and after that where where do the water wait well, i mean the water goes and the students they may talk about yes the water gets the liquid water gets evaporated right and change into clouds 
And some of the students can also explain the water changes to clouds and they are not aware of what is happening. They are not able to explain the process of evaporation, changing of liquid water into water vapors and then water vapors, they get condensed and form the clouds. So you will be able to get to know the learning gaps, right? Then you will be able to create the instructional models so that each and every student should come to the same level. So this is what I just wanted to talk about, BDA drawings. Use it in your classes. I have given you an example of, of water evaporation, condensation, right? And obviously when the puddle is formed, it formed through rain, that's precipitation, right? So this is what the students will be talking about. Any of the topic you can choose in your classes and can ask your students to draw before, during, and after drawings. For the little ones, if you talk about the little ones who are not able to explain the during process, you can just go ahead with simple B, right? Before and after drawings, right? In which they will be just talking about what happens before the process, what happens after the process. You can just skip this process off during the process. So dear teachers, go ahead with this strategy, BDA drawings in your classes and bring a charm engagement in your classes. Let your children think. Help them to make their thinking visible. We often think about it. Thinking is the process that happens in our minds that cannot be made visible. Yes, we have to think about some of the strategies by which we can make thinking visible in our classes. Yes, we can. Join our hands together to make this task, this teaching learning task an engaging, exciting process so that our little ones should look forward to coming to our classes. Yesterday only, we all have celebrated in our country Children's Day, 14th of November, right? So let us give all our children a wonderful gift. Education, quality education, SDG 4 when we talk about, yes, this is what can be a wonderful gift for our children, the future of our nation, the future of this universe. Let us give the best education to our students. Keep on researching. Let's be the best educators. We can give the best to our students. Keep watching this channel, Mentoring the Mentors, and you will be getting to know about number of another wonderful, exciting strategies. Don't forget to comment in the section below. Share your suggestions any of the ideas they would like to share with me, any of the topics that you want me to cover and discuss on this wonderful platform, please go ahead and share the same. I really love to have suggestions, feedback, because I always talk about feedback in our classes, peer feedback. As teachers, we should be ready to give feedback to each other. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you. Bye-bye.